Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. So today we are going to take a little look at Nimya, which is, of course, Nikki Tutorials's Tutorials, which is Nikki Tutor, which is a new brand from Nikki Tutorials. So listen, was I expecting skincare from Nikki? No, I don't think anyone was. I think everyone was due to her artistry and how creative and how talented she is when it comes to makeup. I think everyone was expecting colour and things and stuff, you know, and, and, you know, something a little bit out there. But I do have to say, I am pleasantly surprised with the idea of this brand. So I'm going to use all the skincare today. I am going to do a look very quickly after I've done the skincare and just see how everything goes on top and review it in general. I'm not a skincare person. My twin brother James, who you all know does skincare, is more that side. So go ahead and check out his video where he is reviewing it as a skincare brand, which it is, but I'm reviewing it as makeup prep. I hope that makes sense, which it also is. So just before we get into that, say, if you don't know who I am, my name is Robert. I'm a professional makeup artist here on YouTube and also in real life. And it's my goal to help you become a pro yourself or just someone who's really good at makeup. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, then do please consider subscribing. So I was saying, didn't expect skincare, didn't expect all this kind of stuff. When the launch video um, released, I was in the car coming back from this haunted um, abandoned mansion that we were filming in for our joint channel and I was holding it up to my ear like this and listening because I didn't want to disturb everyone in the car and um, the more Nikki was talking about it the more it kind of made sense to me. Here's the deal right, makeup can never be at its full potential I feel if your skin isn't prepared and prepped and um, you know all this other stuff underneath it's your canvas. If I'm doing makeup on a client Skincare is always, you know, my first kind of thing to consider. What's their skin like? Then I can kind of think how product is going to sit on there, what products I need to use for longevity with their skin type, and what skincare I'm going to use alongside that. So I'm kind of excited to try this, but also at the same time, I feel a bit um, out of my depth because <laughs> I can, I know like, you know, if I want to use a cream on someone that's oily, I'll use a lighter liquid based cream. I don't know, do I know what ingredients do and everything like that? Absolutely not, because when I'm doing makeup on a client, I'm not there to do their skincare to repair their skin or fix their skin or set them off on a on a journey with their skin. I'm there to fix it there and then. This is how I want your skin to act for this day. So that's as far as I go with skincare. However, when I'm filming videos on myself as well, I do, I have like skincare here, skincare a tray, depending if my skin's been dry or oily that day or what's going on with my skin because it's so temperamental. So let's just, let's just get into it. I'm going to stop talking. So let's go first with the cooling eye stick. <laughs> now, this is actually the thing I'm probably more excited about. I absolutely love the feeling of like coldness around the eyes. So there are a few um, claims with this product. I actually opened the box <laughs> inside. Oh, and there's a QR code. Oh, you can see the full tutorial. This is cool. I like this. I like that there's more use to this box than just it being a box. So you can use as a super hydrating primer under foundation and concealer. Can be used for dry spots on the face for ultra hydration dry spots? We don't know her. Also your ultimate friend to take care of tired eyes and replace slash pair with your eye cream. It's been, been a long day, let us help you. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do then. I'm gonna use it under my eyes. I'm t I'm tired today. I'm tired. I'm drooping. I'm I'm just sleepy. And then actually, you know what? I'm gonna take it. I'm I'm really crusty this week. So I'm I'm a little bit crusty around here and here. So let's just use it on some areas that are a little bit drier. There's no smell, which isn't a good or bad thing. I personally like smell. Oh. I'm just gonna drag it in the areas. I need a little bit of a lift today, a little bit of a de-puffing. That feels really good. I'm actually gonna take my finger, I'm actually just gonna see how it is as an eye primer in general and use it, not an eye primer, sorry, I'm still gonna use my eye primer on top, but like use it under the eyes here. And I kind of cut myself short what I was saying earlier. I do like to use eye creams with makeup because I feel like eye creams are just the perfect texture 
<laughs> for the eyes. That's such a dumb... But you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't go in with a moisturiser around her eyes. Sometimes it can be too rich. So an eye cream is a quick way to be like, you know what? What works with the eyes? Eye cream. <laughs> this hat, do you know what? It feels really, really... This is, yeah, this is nice. It does have that really nice cooling kind of effect when it immediately goes on. I'm gonna keep this little cap on. I don't know if you need to, but I feel like that's a thing. And you know what? It's almost like it's absorbed, but not. Like there's definitely a, still like a little bit of a layer there, but it doesn't feel greasy in any way. That's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Actually, that feels better than the eye cream I've been using. I've been using for, for under my eye makeup. It, the one I've been using, it kind of le and it's the best one I've been using recently, kind of leaves like this, almost like a bit of a wet layer, whereas this feels a little bit more... God, I don't know how to describe that. I better stop playing under my eyes. Nice, it's nice. It'll be interesting to see how eye primer sits on top of that. Sometimes when I use different, um, eye creams, the eye primers can kind of slip a little bit. Okay, let's go in next with the Where It All Starts Cream. So this is a moisturizer primer hybrid. Where It All Starts Cream creates a perfect canvas for luminous skin, but can also help you prime the face for those iconic makeup days. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Um, You know what, I'm gonna try this and then I'll use that cooling stick in areas that I'm still a little bit dry. So it also says the Where It All Starts Cream will leave a comfortable sticky feel, perfect for an everyday glow plus improving the longevity of your makeup look. Mm, this is this is cool. For those of you, you who know, I've been using this serum a lot. This is by Current Body. And the reason I've been using it under my foundation is because it has that tacky feeling, not sticky. And maybe tacky is even the wrong word, but it leaves, I know, I guess tacky is the right word. It leaves this texture on your skin that um, feels sticky basically, but not over the top sticky. That's really good. So this is the texture. I'm gonna have to do that, aren't I? It looks whipped almost. It looks almost like, um, yeah, whipped. I don't know if you can see as well, inside the box on all these different angles have all these different tips and there's also the QR code for the thing. Um, apply before foundation for long lasting soft base throughout the day. Wear alone for a gorgeous radiant or natural base. Nice. Or add some drops of Nimia License to Glow Serum. Oh, the serum. Wait, 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 wait. Serum before moisturizer. Uh, I completely forgot. So this is a License to Glow Serum. This kind of, when um I heard Nikki talk about this one, this made m the more sense to me, you know, because it's more that um glow. That does look really cool. <laughs> ah, oops. So it has this blue kind of finish to it, kind of metallic almost. doesn't really have a smell. You know what? This is going to sound really strange. It smells like stationery. Like, like erasers and pencils. <laughs> I know it sounds really weird, but for some reason that's what it reminds me of. I hope <laughs> Does anyone else think that? I personally quite like to use just serums. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's cute for me. I personally just like to use serums underneath foundation, because I'm quite oily, I find that serums are enough when it comes to skin prep for makeup. And I'll save my like intense skincare for the evening, you know, like my really hydrating ingredients for the evening. But because I'm oily, I want my foundation to last a long time. Then I use serums because it's not over hydrating on my skin. That has an incredible glow. Look at that. Oh, it's like a, it's like a silvery... <laughs> That's nice. That's really nice. I almost don't want to go in with a moisturizer because I don't want this glow to go. Do you think it would make it disappear? And it also has quite, this has a, a bit of a tacky feel as well to it. So I would more than happily go on with foundation on top of that. That, that has a really nice glow. I would use this by itself if I wasn't so fucking red. Okay, let's move back onto the moisturizer now. I don't want it to kind of get rid of that glow from the serum though, because look, it's incredible. It looks like I've taken a highlighter and just used it everywhere. Okay. Okay, you definitely only need the smallest, smallest amount of this moisturizer. Yeah, I keep using too much. You need like the smallest, smallest, smallest amount. I didn't realize how much this is gonna spread, especially if you're like me and a little bit oilier. Literally use like the tiniest, tiniest amount. And I still have that glow. If anything, I've got super glowy. <laughs> too much glow, is that a thing? I don't know. Okay, I'm 100% that is a glow. Sheesh, look at that. Okay, maybe. <laughs> 
I feel like if I was to use this every day, like, I mean, like, how how much of a glow are you comfortable with? Because if you're going to use both together, it's quite an intense glow, but it kind of looks, like, like, nice. <laughs> Maybe I'll use a serum everywhere and then just the moisturizer on my cheeks up here, but it, it, the glow is intense, like, it is there. It is nice. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a quick eye makeup look. I'm just gonna kind of speed through the makeup application just so we can see how everything sits and how everything looks. Um, yeah, and then move forward. Also with skincare, I think it's important to give it a few minutes to sit on the skin and just kind of let it do what it needs to do. I have to say, as an oily person, I don't feel overhydrated and I wouldn't usually use as much skincare as that. And I'm talking to like a serum and a moisturizer under foundation. I'm actually looking at my skin in real life and I'm it, I'm super, super impressed with that glow. That looks so, so, it looks like I have really healthy skin. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish up my brows. Um, then I'll do an eye primer and we'll talk about how that's kind of sitting on top of the cooling stick. I also have from Beauty Bay the Jade palette. So I'm gonna do an eye look with that also to post on Instagram. But oh yeah, and also we have a fan. <laughs> it's just cute. Okay, let's, but yeah, I'm not feeling over prepped. I'm not feeling like I have too much on. I, I can do this with my skin and it feels absolutely fine. You know, it's not like it's sitting on top of my skin. It feels really, really nice. So brows, let me do it. Oh, I did just want to say also, I do, if you see glitter on my face, that is not from anything I just tried. I use like a glitter cream eyeshadow and even though I've washed my face, glitter, you know, glitter stays around for years, millenniums. So <laughs> this is why I never use glitter that much. So that's not from a product. Um, That's from that. Okay, let's go in with my usual eye primer. Sorry, it's a little bit gross. And this is the Sigma eye primer. And I'm going to use that right on top of the um, cooling eye stick. Now it does feel smooth. It feels smooth. Um, it doesn't feel over hydrated. There's no layer on top. There's no moisture on top almost. So I'm hoping we can just glide it straight on. And I do usually get a little bit dry up on this inside corner, but I did go over with the cooling stick. So we'll see how that kind of handles with my dryness. Very nice, very nice. So these are my crusty areas, usually right in here. And you can kind of see, uh, usually my eye primer gripping onto those like dehydrated crusty areas, but it's going on really super smooth. I'm actually blending incredibly easy and smoothly. No crust, no dry crusty bits. <laughs> Amazing. You know what, I feel like this has improved this. I love this product anyway. I love my eye primer. It's my favourite eye primer. But I feel like actually the, the cooling stick has actually made that a lot easier to use and a lot nicer. I'm really, I'm really, really impressed by that. I really like it. Um, I was going to use it on my other areas, but actually the serum and the moisturiser I feel like have kind of um, taken control there. And actually I don't feel crusty in those areas. Okay, so I'm going to carve out my brow and move on to do a little bit of eye makeup. Um... I won't really talk through the eye makeup, I'll just do like a little montage -y thing, cause you know. Can I just say, look how smooth that looks. I, I'm i really, really impressed with, with the um, cooling stick. I just think it looks really smooth. There is like a slight feel of tackiness on my lid. That's my eye primer really, and it's, it's the kind of feel I want, but no creasing. I can't believe how smooth it is in this corner. Usually it's so drying. I just, okay, I'm gonna carry on, okay. Okay, so kind of finishing my eyes. I finished up in a minute. I was looking at this palette and I was like, what what kind of combination can I do? And it was right in front of me. I thought, let me just do blue and orange, like on the Nimia package. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use a concealer that's under my eyes, is usually quite dry, quite matte for me. And that's a Pat McGrath Labs concealer. Let's just see how it sits on top of that uh, cooling stick. I'm not sure that's meant to smell like that. Thank you. 
smooth. So smooth. It's just everything's... <laughs> everything is so smooth. That foundation is usually a little bit dry for me. It's usually quite matte, like quite matte on my skin and drags quite easily. I'll finish up under the eyes and then we'll move on to foundation and see how that is sitting on top of the skincare. I still have that glow to my skin and I'm not oily. It's not oil or grease. It is literally just a glow. So, and I've been doing this for... 20 minutes, 20 minutes I've been doing this eye makeup for. I've been watching YouTube and taking my time and it's sitting incredibly well. I don't feel over hydrated, over greasy, over oily, over moisturized, nothing like that at all. Okay, moving on to a foundation. I'm gonna go in my, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Pro Filter, the matte one. This is quite matte. So I do usually have to be quite careful. I love it, but I do be quite careful when I'm using it. And I prep my skin in a very particular way. So, um, yeah, let's see how we go. Have I run out? I can't have run out of foundation brushes, surely. Oh, my nose is a really good test, especially around my crusty areas. Just smooth, just smoothness everywhere. Like completely, completely smooth around my nose. My nose is an area that I consider troubled <laughs> when it comes to texture because I'm quite porous there. I'm also dry, like in these little bits, but my foundation isn't being interrupted by texture. Okay, let me finish up this face and then let's summarize and be done. Just while I'm doing this, I'm actually gonna use the fan to dry the glue on my lashes because it's taken ages and I don't wanna wait. Oh, it's that way. This is like the third time I've done my eye makeup today. You know when you keep taking on and off your makeup? My eyes are getting a little bit watery in the corners. Okay, so we do have the Set It and Forget It setting spray left. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wear this tomorrow while I'm editing all my videos. I'm basically gonna have like an office day. So I'll put my foundation on in the morning, spray it, um, get on with my day and see how it sits. Just having like a normal you know, work day. I will spray a little bit now, just as like a first impression. I'm not a setting spray person, like there's never been a setting spray where I've been like, oh my God, this is so magical. As primers, yes, but as an at, like setting spray, not so much. Um, the powerful setting spray is your ultimate soulmate when it comes to keeping your makeup perfectly in place all day. Shake it for you. So, oh, that's a nice spray. That's a good spray. Um, it has the same smell as the cream, which I really, really like. I love a, um, a fragrance in a product. Um, I know some people are like, oh my God, fragrance. It's really not that big a deal. Okay, good morning. So I just got out of the shower. Please ignore my hair. <laughs> but I use... Um... I've just put on foundation and this morning I wasn't gonna use the cream, like this cream. I was just gonna use the serum, but I woke up and my skin felt so dry. After washing my face, I did all this stuff. It felt drier than normal. So I um, use the serum and the cream again and my skin feels fine. Foundation's gone, foundation has gone on perfectly and smoothly like it did yesterday. Um, and I just wanna use, only obviously use the setting spray on camera. <laughs> So I have it right here. What's the time? It's 10.07 in the morning. Let's dry it a bit with I forgot to mention as well, I'm not using any kind of other like setting aids, if that makes sense. So I'm not using powder. Um, I've, I've just used like the, the um, cream that says it's a primer and the setting spray. I've used it, my skin looks uh, like a slightly glowy. Um, I would usually go in with a little bit of powder just because I prefer this area to be a little bit more matte, but it looks nice. Doesn't feel like anything on the skin, doesn't feel tight or anything. Um, yeah, so I'll keep you posted. Okay, so a bit of an update. It's been... So it's been just over an hour now. I did scratch my nose here. I'm, I don't wear, um, foundation. Very, very rarely do I wear foundation. Um when I'm not on camera and things like that. So I forgot and I just scratched my nose. So we're gonna ignore this area here, but luckily I have another side of the nose. It all looks fine. It all looks little, it all looks good. I would, I would now maybe put on some powder cause I am looking a little bit greasy. That's cause I'm greasy. See, even when I have, even when I have dry skin and prep it like I'm dry, I still get super oily. I'm dehydrated, but oily. So 
but I'm not gonna interfere with it. I'm just gonna leave it. But so far, so good. Like, I'm, it's fine. It's definitely still on my face, <laughs> which is a good thing. So we'll just watch around the nose here and see, see how it gets on. Okay, so it's two hours later than what I just did. I just want everyone to look at my skin. Oh, I'm, just, I'm so dehydrated, like I can't even <laughs> explain how dehydrated my skin is. It is terrible. However, let's have a look at me. Are you gonna focus? Still very oily, still very oily. I'm getting a little bit like textured all around here. This is what happens on my nose. It gets really oily and really textured. Please ignore everywhere I've scratched my nose because I keep scratching it. See, this is when I would have maybe powdered like an hour ago, maybe even two hours ago. <laughs> um, just to like kind of guarantee that it was going to be a little bit longer lasting. You know what, maybe, mm, no, I don't want to ruin the texture. Powdering the top now would be a bit of a disaster, so I'm just gonna leave it. I mean, from this far away, I look fine. Like, I could probably, like, retouch a little bit and it'll be absolutely fine. I'll keep you posted. Okay, so it is, <clears throat> oh, sorry. It is 2.17. I've been here all day, I've eaten food, I've done everything I need to do. Um, and this is the current situation. I mean, you can see by skin texture, which is just normal. It is kind of separating a little bit in some areas. Again, this is where I scratched my nose, but like here, for example. Saying that, it doesn't look like my foundation's coming up when I do this. <laughs> it just looks like I'm taking off some grease. So I would have usually by now, I would have used like a powder or something else and I would have set, um, or I would have gone in with like a beauty blender with some of the um, like hydrating mist on. Um, so I haven't really taken the precautions I would usually. I've just kind of tested this in a way that I would only use the setting spray. So for me personally, it 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 kind of works, but I would need to use other things alongside it, like a powder. That's my doorbell. Um, but it's not it's not the it's not the worst. I think if you have oilier skin, you naturally have to take will do more things to keep your foundation on longer anyway. So it'll be interesting to see how this works alongside a powder, if I was to use a powder and if I was to retouch throughout the day. For me alone, a setting spray isn't enough for my oily skin, my dehydrated but oily skin. <laughs> Maybe if you have a dry or normal, as much as I hate to say it, it will probably work incredibly well. But for me, I need a, I need, still need a little bit more help. Also, I wanna say something, sorry, I'm just editing the video now. And um, the serum, when I used the serum in real life, the camera didn't do it justice. It looked like this metallic, not over the top, but a really intense glow on my skin. And I'm just looking at the video now, I'm like, that looks so underwhelming compared to how it looked in real life. I had I had this amazing glow, and then I'm watching myself, you know, on the screen, I'm like, it doesn't, it didn't look like that in real life. It looked better, better in real life. It was a lot stronger, so just bear that in mind as well. I'm just so, honestly, I'm, oh, I should probably turn this off before I, actually, oh. There's three settings on this fan, by the way. This is the highest. That feels really good. It really, it packs a punch for a little fan, I do have to say. So summary for all the skin prep, I'm, I'm actually really, really pleasantly surprised. I, when it comes to skincare and prepping the skin for makeup, I'm kind of, I'm always a little bit wary that the products might not really do what they say or claim they do. And it's like, makes the skin look smooth, does all this to your skin. And sometimes I use like a moisturizer, I'm like, okay, that was normal, average if anything. Whereas using these, you can kind of tell that the makeup application has kind of been at the forefront of, of the mind when, pre when making these products. I'm incredibly impressed. And I have to admit, I thought I would just be like, oh, skincare. But no, I think, I think I'm going to have to use the serum and the cream before I put on foundation all the time now. Because my skin, I use two products that I find usually quite mattifying on my skin, and I have to use certain products before and use certain brushes and finish them in a certain way. And I love them, don't get me wrong, but it's nice to have these two options. I wonder how it would sit with just, I just think everything looks, just looks incredibly smooth on the skin. I think it looks really, really nice. Yeah, I'm so, I don't, I don't know what else to say. I'm really, really impressed. I think this is a great thing to go for. If I had to choose one or two products to go for, maybe, you're not looking to invest in the whole 
um, of a whole brand, I would 100% go for that serum because it packs a really good glow and I think serums are great skin prep anyway. And the cooling eye stick. Maybe if you're oily, if you're drier, go for the cooling eye stick and the cream, the face cream. We'll see how a setting, actually we'll just seen how a setting spray goes. But yeah, extremely, extremely, extremely impressed. Um, I can't stop looking at my skin. I can't stop looking at my skin. I just think it looks really like smooth, like really smooth. Mm. Okay, well, I would love to know your opinions below. Are you thinking about purchasing any products from Nimia? What are your thoughts? Let me know. Thank you so much for joining me. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please consider subscribing, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.